Hi, I'm Eli Plaskett, Senior Associate Editor for Modern Machine Shop, and I'm once again here on the floor of Tintas. Right now, the topic is new advances in technology, and we're going to speak to a few companies, starting with Delta Electronics. We're going to speak with Senior Principal of Marketing, Claire O. Oh, let's go. All right. Hi, Claire. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Now, could you tell us about your company, please? Thank you, Eli. Well, welcome to Delta Electronics. For uh, Delta, welcome to our booth at uh, Tim Toast 2023. We are the biggest power and thermal solution provider in the world, and uh, the, also the world leading company. So for this year's Tintos, we bring some exciting power supplies and charging solutions for the, in the machine tool industries. Can you tell us uh, what sort of benefits these power supplies bring to your customers? Benefits, that's the most important thing, yes. Okay, so for, um, for the uh, machine tool industry, this time we bring the PMT2 series panel mount power supplies and also the Light 2 series thin rail type power supplies for the machine tool industry. And these two series can satisfy our customers with high efficiency, high reliability, and also easy to install and maintain. And um, as you can see, these products are slim in design, so they're very thin, and also they can provide up to 91% of power efficiency with very low, no load power to save energy lost. And uh, with, the, uh, with the capability of withstanding the uh, dust and uh, liquid that could generate it during the operation of machine tools, we are able to provide a very stable power supply during the operation. And what's more, Aside from being thin of this product, we have a very special designed patent clamp that can help our customers to install these power supplies easily and detach it as well. So it can be a time saving for you to maintain and replace these power supplies when they have breakdowns. Great. And, uh in smart factories, products are manufactured by machine tools and then carried off by autonomous vehicles and robots. Could you tell us about how Delta's charging station can help with that? Okay, as we, you can see that in modern factory, we're talking about more and more of being digitalized, automated, and unmanned factories operation. And what we do here is that we see more and more customers are using AMRs to realize the 24-7 automated operation. And with the uh, traditional way of charging, we, we usually use cable or metal connectors, and they require human to maintain or plug in or plug out these cable chargers. But we're doing something different and innovative here, is that we are using our advantage as the uh, world's leading power supply company, and we develop this Move Air 1 kilowatt wireless charging system. It composed of two parts. One is with the, uh, with the AC supply side that it can uh, provide power, and the other is the onboard charger that can be installed on your AGVs or AMRs, and they can perform contactless power transmission within a 20 millimeter air gap. It means that without any contact or connection, they can charge automatically. And as you can see now, when I move this AGV demo against the wall, it is charging automatically. So this, this solution can freed up your manpower to plug in or plug out the charging cables. And what's more important is that it can be uh, communicate with your controllers in the system or sensors through CAN bus. So it can uh, support the charging of all types of 24 to and 48 voltage batteries. So it means that we can fully satisfy the needs of the uh, current AMRs in the market while providing a smarter and automated way for your uh, devices to charge. Well, thank you very much. That was very informative. Uh, up next, we're going to go look at Kaiden and talk about uh, 3D printing industries. All right, going to head this way. Now, there's a lot of additive manufacturing companies over here in this little strip. Uh, Taiwanese manufacturers, like manufacturers around the globe, have really embraced 3D printing and uh, here you can see some 3D printers, 3D printed parts over there. Uh, 
obviously 3D printing is very important for the medical industry as well. Uh, all right, we're going to start talking to uh, General Manager Tim Su here at Kaiden. Hi, Hi. nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Welcome to Taiwan. So can you tell us about your company? Yeah, of course. Uh, Kaiden Design is a company who uh, sells um, the total solution of 3D scanning and 3D printing. And uh, I, I mean, we don't, we don't not just sell uh, machines, but we also provide our, uh, our service. So uh, this is our um, 3D printer. And this 3D, this 3D printer is made by Mark Forged. And this one is Mark, Mark II. And uh, this, one is, this printer is very special because it can print two types of filament. The first one is the Onyx. The Onyx contains ni uh, nylon and uh, the uh, short carbon fiber. And the second one is they can, it, it can print uh, the continuous fiber. So it, it turns out the printing parts very strong. I think so. <laughs> I think even even machine cannot break bend bend this one. Yeah, this is stronger than aluminum. Oh, wow. Yes, very strong. Yeah. So th that uh, why this part can be so strong is because the continu continuous fiber, and our pr and the product line needs this kind of uh, stronger 3D part 3D printing part because the fixtures, fixtures, yeah. uh, fixtures means. Fixtures works for the uh, product line. They need the fixtures to lock the, their products. Yes. So, yes, that is why the strong strength is so important. And could you tell us uh, some more? Can you introduce us to this, this product over here? And this, this 3D printer is made by Red 3D. And this, this pr uh, printer is the fattest 3D printer in the world. So normally, uh, the normal uh, 3D printer can only print with uh, 50, 30 to 50 millimeter per second, but this one can print 300. It's like a five or five to six times uh, faster than the other normal 3D printer. And I understand you have some parts submitted by customers too. Yes. And here are the samples we, uh, our customers, uh, we borrow, borrow, we borrow from our customers, and this these samples show that not only us can print the, uh, print this kind of objects so well, but our customers can. That is why I mean we provide solutions, not just a machine. We train our customers and uh, we teach them to use use all these machines. So and this sample, here, uh, printed by. Uh, that machine with 300 millimeter per second, and this one is very uh, accurate. You can just fix it like this. Nice. Yeah, and this one is the pr prototype. Oh. Yeah. I I see it matches that metal uh, final product. Yes, and the prototype is very uh, important for the manufacturing, especially for the fact factory. In the past. Uh, they, uh, it's, it is very hard to make prototype. So I'm going to have to interrupt you there. Thank you for walking us through that. I really appreciate it. Yep. All right. Next up, we're going to learn about some EDM technology from JAMA. All right. Whew. Uh, so yeah, additive manufacturing, very important for most manufacturers around the world now and uh, EDM also very important for cutting difficult materials and uh, making small holes I believe we're going to be looking at an EDM drill all right we're gonna speak with uh, uh, the manager of the design department Jack hi how are you hi. doing Jack hi Eddie yes yeah so could you please tell us about your company uh, we are JAMA company, just a uh, new uh, established in Taiwan, and uh, our um, main product is EDM drill. And we are uh, young company, but we have a uh, for great 40 years big boss, Mr. Xu. He concentrate on EDM drill, have uh, 40 years experience. So we continue his experience 
and follow his rule to make an electronic machine so for every customer can afford it. Yeah. And can you tell us about this machine here? Yeah, our machine uh, can generate a nanosecond per impulse current for EDM drill, such as uh, aviation, materials, aerospace, and titan uh, tungsten carbide or hardened steels. Any your difficult materials we can drill and just one button. You just push one button and you can start the drill. You can drill small like this hole, very small. Yeah. Maybe you cannot see. And what size hole is that? Right now it's a uh, hundred micron. Wow. Well, thank you for walking us through that. I really appreciate it. Tungsten. It's tungsten carbide? Yeah, tungsten. Okay. Well, thank you once again for walking us through that. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm Eli Plaskett here at Tim Toss. And as you can see, uh, Taiwanese manufacturers are embracing the changing technology of the time. Manufacturing technology is constantly changing. And whether it's incremental changes or transformative technology, Taiwanese manufacturers are embracing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tim Toss.